Nations have traded the report on the arrest of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo Namdekano, by the Nigerian government. On Tuesday, the Attorney General of the Federation and the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami San, informed journalists that Kano was arrested and brought to Nigeria on Sunday. He said the arrest followed a collaborative effort between security agencies in Nigeria and Interpol. Malami further disclosed that Kano would be taken before the Federal High Court in Abuja for the continuation of his trial on charges bordering on terrorism, treasonable felony, unlawful press, uh, possession of firearms, and management of an unlawful society. But Nigerians on social media have kicked against Kano's arrest, noting that there are more serious security threats that should be tackled. Many noted that banditry and terrorism remained the order of the day in the north without any any effort be, uh, by the government to arrest the leaders of the gangs of bandits wrecking havoc. Social media users also condemned Kano's arrest on the premise that Islamic clerk Sheikh Ahmed Gumi had not been arrested despite his alleged ties with bandits. Why many have found the report incredible, some set of persons have instead lauded President Muhammad Buhari for keeping to his promise of dealing with terrorists. Here are the reactions. I quote, Freedom is free, even if it means that we pay with our blood for our children and their children to live free from the excesses of Fulani, Savage, then so be it. When would they arrest the spokesman of Bandit Gumi? Federal government get ready for what is coming on him, on them. We are IPOP and not coward like Buhari and Fulanese. So federal government can through the pain of arresting Namdekano abroad, but cannot arrest Boko Haram and Bandit who kill innocent Nigerians daily. Exactly. Exactly. Why? What? Okay, if the federal government can do this, that means they can take down banditry and uh, Boko Haram in a minute. If they can plan Namdekano arrest all this, all this, why? So why are we still facing this problem of insurgency, banditry, or whatever in this country? You see, that is the reason why so many Nigerians have been saying it, that if federal government want to stop this insurgency, it's just a, ma a matter of a minute, they will stop it. Maybe because it's not still done on them, you know, to end this uh, insurgency or whatever that has caused havoc in this country. Yeah, that is the reason why they are still keeping quiet. But the question will not be why. Why are they keeping quiet? Why innocent people are dying every day by day? Okay. He must be kept alive because Saturnus can, cannot die for Buhari to reign. With his arrest, it shows that federal government can arrest those bandits and kidnappers from their hiding place. But federal government choose not to. Nigerians are still talking. So Buhari left Boko Haram, Iswap. Bandits and herdsmen to go after Namdekano. Is it the cause of insecurity and poverty in Nigeria? Yusuf was killed. Did that stop Boko Haram? The government must tackle the issues that Kano speaks about marginalization, restructuring, and all that. The government should not make Kano the case and abandon the re case. It took the effort of Iswap to keep. Abubakar Shaku, I fear for what the Buhari government is about to face. It's painful that this may be the end of Nandekano. Federal government just abandoned him there and keep posts postponing and adjoining until he has no more strength left in him to fight. A Facebook user, David Oluse Group, said the best way the federal government can just the tension and gain the support of Nigeria is to hold dialogue with them 
and release him to go and calm the southeast. There is no point jailing him if agitation must end in the southeast. Another user uh, changes, uh, he said, it changes nothing. Bwari is bigger than Nandekano. Sorry, Biafra is bigger than Nandekano. He played his role in waking up the awareness, just like no one can key uh, Sharia ideology. That is the same with Biafra. Unless you come out with a better reason why Igbos will do better in Nigeria than Biafra. It does not change the fact that Nigeria is a zoo and fake state and more than 80% of Abokis cannot travel to their village because of insecurity. Another person said in misplaced mis of priority, how is Kano the problem of this country? And this blind administration full of hate and nepotism. Another one said, at this moment, arresting IPOB leader is never a Nigerian problem more than Nigeria itself is the problem. He said, so guys, I'm dropping it here. Hit the comment section and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate. Bye for now.